Hi, and welcome to our video on DNA computing, a potential future in computation. DNA computing was idealized by Leonard Edelman in 1994. He meant for it to be an alternative for the silicon-based computers. DNA computing makes use of the double helix containing four complementary bases to store information and to solve computational problems. So, how is DNA computer different from silicon-based computers? For starters, DNA computers make use of parallel processing as compared to the linear operations of silicon-based computers. Even though silicon computers are faster, DNA computers are able to do millions of computations at a time. How powerful is such an idea? Well, picture this. A teardrop size of DNA will be more powerful than the most powerful supercomputers on Earth. 10 trillion DNA molecules can fit into an area of 1 cubic centimeter. With such an amount of DNA, we'll be able to run Beauty and the Beast in full HD for 515 times. This amount of DNA also allows the computer to compute up to 10 trillion calculations at a time. To illustrate the difference between DNA computers and silicon-based computers, let us look at the storage size. Traditional storage media requires 10 to the power 12 cubic nanometers of space to store a single bit of information. However, DNA molecules require just 1 cubic nanometer per bit. In other words, a single cubic centimeter of DNA holds more information than a trillion CDs. So, why is all of this important? Let's hear from Intel co-founder Gordon Moore. Hi, I'm Gordon Moore. I observed in 1965 that the complexity of microprocessors will double every year. However, many have discovered that Moore's law will slow down and reach its end due to the physical speed and miniaturization limitations of silicon microprocessors. Despite DNA computers having higher energy efficiency, larger storage space, as well as being a greener and cheaper alternative to silicon-based computers, it also has its limitations. This includes computational errors produced by mismatch and pairing of the nucleotides, inaccuracy in enzymatic reactions, as well as redundant and unwanted steps in processing DNA. DNA computing is still in its infancy stage. With technological advancement, including the development of new techniques and processes, we'll be able to harness the full potential of DNA computers to make it truly the future of computing. We hope you've learned something today. Thank you for watching. Created using Powtoon.